So I am on the way to Between Two Worlds World Premiere to go and help, well, help support my mate Pete Gibbon, who I know has worked his ass off to uh, to make this film happen, and I'm super super stoked for him. So uh, let's go and see Pete and uh, let's see how the film goes. So I'm about to go in and watch Between Two Worlds. Let's see what it's all about. Thank you, Pete. to my friend Craig Stevens and he had some wise words to say. What we're going to talk about is how the fact that Jerry is going to um, do some incredible magic and what he's going to do is make his career disappear. Jerry. <laughs> and it's back again. He's amazing. Oh, I thought we were friends. No we are but that's the only joke about you making anything disappear other than my love life I can talk about on this camera. <laughs> but I wasn't sure it was you that made it disappear. Yeah. No, I, think, I, th I think that was you. <laughs> Do you like a sweet? No, I don't want your sweet. It's not even a euphemism for something. Just go. Put your camera away. <laughs> Just come out of the cinema and the film was great. Go and see it. Check out online where you can see uh, Between Two Worlds. Adios. Woo. So there is a tour of cinemas that you can go and see Between Two Worlds. But alternatively, you can go on to iTunes and pre-order film. Then everybody from the cinema got invited back to the W Hotel in Leicester Square for the after party. So here at the after party from Between Two Worlds, have you ever seen a fucking glitter ball that size? That is massive. Right, adios. Then I got to hang out with Elliot Gleave, AKA Example. And he was a really cool guy. These are warheads. Where you just get them two meters sweet. Oh, yeah, oh. I'm trying to see my new film. Please. Oh, yeah, this is for my phone. Four coins in your hand. Square the coins up into one pile. Okay, I want you to imagine, not action do it, see the action, take the coin and place it into my hand. Imagine? Yeah. Now, did you actually put it in there or did you just imagine it? Did you have three coins there? See that. Okay, watch. One, two, three, four coins, yeah? I want you to square it up into one pile. What are you afraid of? Actually take one coin and place it into my hand. home from the world premiere of Between Two Worlds. Go and see the film, it's amazing. See you, uh, see you tomorrow. So going to go and meet my old man and my little brother. We're gonna go trampolining for the afternoon. I think it's gonna be fun. I got my mate Ross. Oh. Me and Ross, we traveled all over the world together. We've been to the Philippines and done ski seasons and all sorts of shit. He only passed his driving test two weeks ago. So I'm probably going to die. So if this is the last time I see you guys, it's been great. Are you nervous? What's that bit? I am. <laughs> right, see you in a bit. You. We haven't crashed yet. Are we, Ross? That's how we start. Not yet. What's this doing? What's this doing? <laughs> so Harvey was asleep, but that didn't last long with his big brother around. What are you doing? We're going now. We're going now? We're going shopping. Yeah. You want to go shopping? I said tell you bro where, where are you going. Ah, oh, thanks bro. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're a good boy, aren't you? See you bro. High five. See you in a minute. So we went to go trampolining and Harvey wasn't old enough to go so we are now going temping bowling and then they're going to get their flight a little bit later. So uh, see you in a bit. What we do? <laughs> are you looking forward to going on holiday? Yeah. So here we are with Harvey the main man. Yeah. Are you a dude? Yeah. 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 
how much of a dude? Like a lot of a dude. You're not a dude. You are a dude. So Harvey's going on holiday today to the Philippines. Where are you going? Philippines. Philippines. Yeah. And you're going to have Christmas there, aren't you? Yeah. So Father Christmas is going to come to the Philippines and see Harvey there. And then Ace is coming there as well, isn't he? Yes. You're going to get in the car now. You got a kiss for bro? Ah. Uh, ah. Oh, look, he just wiped it. <laughs> love you, bro. Cuddle? Are you going to say love you, bro? Oh. <laughs> love you, bro. Right, high five, dude. Cheers, dude. See ya. Cheers, man. Cheers, Dad. See, I'll see you soon. See ya. See you later, dude. Cheers, man. You. Stop filming, you knob. <laughs> what do you mean? Say hi. Huh? Say hi. <laughs> I'll eat the bloody thing. <laughs> so it was an experience, but Ross did get me home safe. He did well. Not too bad. The boy did well. So, uh, adios. See you soon. Cheers, man. Let's do it better because that was shit. There you go. <laughs> a little bit better. Right, uh, yeah, adios. You. So that's it for this week's vlog. Go over to my YouTube page and subscribe and like and press do whatever you have to do. It's all going to a good cause and promoting me. So yeah, all the likes and shares are very much appreciated. Thanks very much. Tomorrow I'm going to Jim Carnet Grid to get to hang out with the one and only Mr. Ken Block and all of the monster athletes. I think Terry Grant, Bagsy, Luke Woodham, Butsy Butler are all going to be there. So I'm going to get all those guys. Oh, and the Monster Girls. Monster Girls are going to be there. We'll get the Monster Girls to come and say hello. Adios. You.